Our first video is on the vibrations of a stretched string. So of course all of you know that your violin string produces approximately 20 overtones, which is pretty impressive. <laughs> um, especially when compared with other instruments, how many overtones we can produce. But the first one we refer to as the first partial and it's actually the fundamental pitch as well. You can see from this diagram, which is a simplified representation, that it kind of looks like a jump rope shape. The string is vibrating as a whole. In the second partial, you see that the string is vibrating in halves. And this is an octave above the fundamental. And as you can see, in the very, very middle of that string, there's a spot that doesn't move, and it's called a node. So if you wanted to just hear this partial, all you have to do is place your finger very lightly at that node, and there you have your uh, second partial. Now, with the third partial, your string is vibrating in thirds. And again, you have a node at a third of the way up the string. There's your third partial. Same thing with the fourth partial. The string's vibrating in fourths. And there's your fourth partial. So as you are working with this, notice something for me. What happens if instead of creating a node with your finger, we where the node should be. Well, in that case, the node is moving a lot, and it, so it can't be a node anymore. And that means that that whole partial, or that whole overtone, disappears from the sound. So if I pluck it half the string length, you're not gonna hear the second overtone, the fourth overtone, the sixth overtone, or the eighth overtone because all of them have a node at that spot and I've caused that mode to move. This is one of the many ways you can create different colors is by changing the location of where you pluck or bow the string because the nodes of different overtones are at different places. So that means the sound I get here at approximately a quarter the length of the string, it's missing the fourth, eighth, twelfth, and sixteenth overtones. But if I go here, I'm probably only missing, you know, maybe the 11th and 22nd overtone, something like that. And that means that the more overtones you want in the sound, you just make that ratio as you get closer to the bridge smaller and smaller because you'll be missing fewer and fewer overtones.